Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Saturday night, which means it's time for a spot of Simpsons Tapped Out, means it's time for a spot of City Design, means it's time for a spot of Chatter with you guys, and of course, to be completely accurate, it means it's time for the beginning credits. Well, greetings, everyone. Let's kick over to the uh, the lovely little layout we have here. Um, I do hope you are well. I'm just going to um, double check that the um, the stream is all working correctly. Um, if you guys, as always, could just let me know if the balance of like microphone and game and face and all that kind of stuff is generally correct, then you can understand me and you can see me. Because after all, if you can see me, that means that I can see you. Um, and of course, it's um, time for a bit of um, city design. Now, as I'm sure um, many, 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 many of us, have, as I've read from on various forums, are getting sick of this blasted wheel. This blimmin' wheel. Look, 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 look. I'm out of eight tokens, as I, as I normally am. I have one left, and I've been reading on um, some of the sites uh, that they've improved the odds from something like 2.25% of getting the good stuff to like 5%. Well, well, huzzah. So I've got a 1 in 20 chance rather than a 1 in 40. I mean, yes, it's better odds, but still, I don't know really spinning this thing over and over and over and over and again. I've spun it to oblivion, but I have now got um, my snow monster. He, 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 you know you know how sometimes you reach that point of just kind of like, oh, it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh my god! It happened. Uh, this, uh, this this happened to me uh, with, with the snow monster. I must admit, it, it's, it's all a little bit too little too late, isn't it? I mean, the last thing I need is a snow monster when the snow is about to disappear in about two days time because um, basically I'm then going to put him in the inventory box and probably not see him for 12 months assuming we're all still playing the game in that particular time um, anyway but nevertheless somewhere somewhere in the town I have a uh, uh, I have a, uh, a snow monster I've lost him though he's gone wandering he's probably got him playing in the snow um, so I just have one left. How are you guys doing with the wheel? I'm going to have a little, little look in the chat. Um, I, I know some of you seem to be kind of done on the on the, on the day it first came out. You must have like spent um, half your like life's wages in donuts or whatever, and just kind of like spun it and spun it and spun it and spun it and spun it until you've got it. But I'm I don't even know what this last thing is. I think it's like a homeless shelter. And to be honest, you know you know what the really irritating thing is it's it's not even a very good building. I can see it's not. It's not like Claw's Company. Claw's Company was awesome. I loved putting that. That was that was an awesome live stream when we when we did that one and put this lot together. I thought that was a really, really cool design. But I know this last one is just going to be one of those sucky buildings that I stick up here in my, like, building morgue and don't know what to do with, and it just kind of sits there for another, like, three months until eventually I put it back into the inventory. But it's the whole completionist thing, isn't it? It's the bit of you that goes, well... Because I can have it, I want to have it, and I must have it, and I actually can't live without it, even though it's crap. It's that little bit of human nature that want, makes us we, means we want the, the whole sticker collection, or means we want the whole... Uh, um, you know, every every bit of... Oh, hang on, I've got a free coin! I've got a free coin! How exciting! Oh, this, could this be the magical moment when... Well, could this be the moment when it happens? Could it be? Could it be? Okay, everyone cross your fingers, and cross your toes, and cross your eyes, because I'm going to spin the wheel, and this could be the time. Because let's face it, the odds have improved. It's 1 in 20. 1 in 20, I might get this silly little homeless shelter thing. We'll try it. Okay, here we go, 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 here we go. And spin! Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Keep going, keep keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, I'm just going to get garb. I'm just going to get tokens. Oh, why? It makes me so angry. It gives me so much rage. How am I doing? Oh, hang on. I've collected a thousand tokens and got another spin token, which means... We get to spin the wheel again. Mm, maybe it's like that whole scene in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, you know, when he gets a ticket, but it's not that one, and then he gets a ticket, and it's not that one, and then he finds £10 in the gutter, and then he goes back in the shop, and he gets the ticket, and it's that one. So maybe this is it. Maybe that was the moment when we got the extra ticket, and we get it, and this is now the moment when we get the ticket. I think it could be. Cross your fingers, cross your eyes, cross your toes, cross your arms. Here we go. Three, two, one, spin! Okay, it's coming round, it's coming round. Oh, oh, stop, stop, stop. It's going to miss it by one. It's going to miss it by one. It's missed it by one. <laughs> oh, the sadness. I don't need a thousand money. I've been house farming since February. I, oh, God. God. I've been house farming since February. I, I could buy 
a small third world country with the amount of spare money that I have in The Simpsons tapped out. But no, it doesn't give me tokens. It doesn't give me a little homeless shelter. It gives me 1,000 money. You know, I can get 1,000 money from one building. One premium character gives me 1,000 in a day. One premium character! Well, hello. Let's see how you guys, you guys are doing. Uh, some of you have got Claws Co. at the beginning. It says on off one two one. Hello, welcome to the Fat Cell. Um, M says stupid wheel. I agree. Um, lots of you were, were crossing various limbs, which is good to see. <laughs> so close, says Living Duck. I agree. Um, and welcome to the Fat Cell. In fact, welcome to the Fat Cell, um, all of you. Oh, and it's your boy Drew. Hello, it's your boy Drew. Welcome to um, another episode of The Simpsons Tapped Out Live. Now, what are we designing tonight? In fact, I told you last week, so you should know. And in fact, actually, let me rewind a little bit. If you're watching the live, if you're watching the recorded version of this on YouTube, well, then where the hell were you? Okay, this is a live show, and it's on Twitch. And if you're watching the recorded version on YouTube, then shame on you. In fact, can we have a little chorus of shame on you from the guys in the chat to anyone, anyone that is watching the recorded version and isn't here right here, right now, with the rest of you, having a fun time with the Adipose, with everyone else, with Simpsons Tapped Out. So I want abuse from the people in the chat. No swearing, nothing nasty, nothing racist, nothing sexist, nothing geekist. But I want some abuse to the people that are watching the recorded version. Where the hell were you? Out with your friends, unacceptable. Spending time with your loved ones, unacceptable. Watching TV, maybe acceptable, but only slightly. There we go. Here comes the abuse. I can see it coming out there. Now, that's good. I hope you're feeling bad. I hope you're feeling guilty. And especially if it's just time zone problems, just set your alarm. Get up at 2 in the morning. It's fine. You just get up really early. Just, you know, climb out of bed. Leave your wife there. And then just come out. Watch some adipose. Enjoy it. Big smile. Come back to bed. She will. She'll never know. It's all fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. Ooh, what does Molman want? Molman wants to flip some burgers. Well, he can spend 12 hours um, flipping them over and over. Anyway, I lost my track of thought there. I apologise. Because, um, hang on, I, I've been talking and ranting so much, I now need a drink. Um, I don't have any chocolate today. Um, I normally have, for those of you that um, haven't seen many of my live streams before, um, I normally have... <laughs> Sorry, I've just actually just counted the amount of shame of you that have actually come up in the stream. There's loads of them. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> and we've got some, like, booze in there as well. <laughs> ah, woo. Anyway, um, I've completely lost my track of thought now, just being wonderfully entertained by that. <laughs> um, I'm sure I was saying something important. Um... Oh yes, I haven't got any chocolate. Um, I normally have some little chocolate buttons, and I occasionally like you know sneak one in, um, in between little house designs. But I, I've been receiving abuse on TappedOut.co.uk. People have started making little Photoshop things that say things like "Don't give Adipose chocolate," and I don't really understand why. Apparently, it's got something to do with the King Plow thing, but I don't really get it. All I know is that there's people saying "Don't give Addy chocolate," so I, I I object, and I think the new new campaign should be to give Addy chocolate we should you know I should set up some sort of like post office box and international people should like you should send me chocolate from your parts of the world you know if, if you're watching me from South Africa send me some South African specialty or something like that I think the campaign is the wrong way round it should be to give the adipose chocolate and you know I'll, I'll, I could eat it on the live stream although it probably you know, if you're sending it from a foreign country, it'll probably get taken out and quarantined in anyway. And all, all I'll actually get is uh, like a little letter saying, Hi, dear Adipose, we saw that you had food and so we took it. But instead, here's a letter and our apologies or something like that, which it never gets through. Anyway, I'm still getting distracted, mainly because Marge has now got a job. Marge wants to protest something. Well, you go ahead and you protest something, honey. Uh, right, let's just see what you guys are saying. Uh, Onoff asks, will I do other tap tap videos like premium reviews? It's, it's a good point, actually. I haven't actually done any other stuff other than City Design for a while. Mainly because I think City Design stuff's just the most fun, and it's also the most unique. I mean, I could do news, um... But there's loads of, you know, there, there's uh, tapped out addicts, there's uh, tapped out topics, uh, there's the site that must not be named, um, and all of them do kind of news stuff. So I could do news, but it's just kind of repeating stuff, and I always feel, I do sometimes do those videos, but I feel a video that kind of goes, hi, here's stuff that you already know, that's already on your computer, that you already know before you started watching this, but I'm going to make some money out of it anyway. It's just kind of a little bit cheap, to be honest. Um, so I try and do the, um, the, 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 the city design stuff, but you're right, I could do some more premium reviews, especially as thanks to the uh, the love of Gil, 
Um, I have splashed out a little bit on um, some um, some some new donuts. You can probably see my my current total in the bottom of your screen. There um, is uh, it's it's looking healthy at the moment, but obviously I don't want to buy too much. But I have never done a premium review on the. Uh, uh, where was it? Well, we did it last time. The open air stage. I've never done a premium review on that. Um, I've got Barney's um, uh, Barney's thing up here, the bowler arm. I haven't done a premium review on that. So there's a few that I've got that I haven't done a video on. So maybe. I, I guess this is a very, very long way or a long winded way of me saying um, maybe I could do some premium review stuff. And I have, the other thing I haven't done for a while is um, level reviews, uh, which again I think is kind of stuff you already know. But sometimes, sometimes it's just fun to have stuff you already know, but just kind of enjoying watching things that you care about. Like you know, I like uh, what do I like? I like Doctor Who, and sometimes I like watching programs about Doctor Who, even though I know all of it, and then, you know, it's just kind of fun. So when the, when the, when the next level comes along, um, I'll probably do a level review and talk to you about the stuff that's coming up in it and stuff like that. Anyway, we should probably get designing. Oh, hang on, it sounds like some of you guys are talking about chocolate. Let me have a look. Panda Hug says Addy can live without chocolate. Um, that's a banning offence. Could someone jump all over Panda Hugs? That's just unacceptable to say that Addy could live without chocolate. He would die. It's like a clinical need. Um, Living Ducks is giving chocolate. Thank you, Living Duck. Welcome to the fat cell. On off has says, Addy, I give you chocolate. Still waiting. Um, <laughs> don't know your address. Cole wants chocolate now too. Um, Charles is just shouting Casey because he can. And prediction videos. What would be in a prediction video? Oh, I did those Addy rants. I haven't done an Addy rant for a while. I think I kind of ranted myself out when I did that rant about the prices of things. <laughs> I think I went on for about 15 minutes about why things are expensive and kind of, like, afterwards I was a bit like, <sighs> okay, I think I've got that out of my system now. <laughs> and, uh, uh, what, I can't remember what I've done for the Simpsons once. Oh, hello, my, my squid port. Uh, th thank you very much to everyone that's been coming into my town and, um, and uh, tapping, especially on my squid port, and uh, trying to get, and giving me presents as well. I do appreciate it. I realise I am the worst neighbour in the world. If you ever add me, by the way, just be just be on the understanding that you're adding me because you might get featured. Don't do it because you're thinking I'm a good neighbour. I'm a terrible neighbour. When I'm not playing Simpsons, when I'm not doing city design at the weekend, I just kind of log on once a day, grab some stuff, and then I go and play other stuff because I'm one of these people that I can't play one game too much. And if I do play one game too much, eventually I get sick of it. And if I did that, if I played it all all day every day and like delivered presents to everyone, eventually when I come to city design videos on the weekend, it would be me here going. I hate this game and I hate you and that wouldn't be the world's greatest live stream in fact that would probably be the worst um, but nevertheless um, I've lost my track of thought again we are talking about today residential areas do you remember um, last week I said I gave you a heads up I gave you a big heads up and I said we are going to be looking at residential areas because we've um because we've been doing uh we've been doing all these kind of spectacular buildings you know we did the the the, the um the, you know, the Christmas stuff we did the New Year celebrations we did the uh the uh, the Buddhist temple we I like I you know I don't know about you but I really like the fact now that you know we have a history you know it isn't like this started last week I think we've been going I don't know um M how many uh how many how many live streams have we done now? You, you seem to be quite good with these kind of like little little factoids. I know I've done loads of kind of different live streams, but in terms of Simpsons ones, in fact, we probably work it out actually because we did one with the we did the New Year one. There's one. Oh yeah, we did this kind of Christmassy stuff. That was two. We did Buddhist Temple. That was three. We did the prison. That was four. Hmm. Oh yeah, we did the, we did the Springfield Downs. That's five. We did the the Kapowow Casino. That's six. Is that it? What did we do last week? Oh, and last week we did last week we did the um, last week we did the um, Krusty Burger, which I finally got around to finishing off this morning. Um, uh, I didn't go for the world's most complicated design, as you can see in the end, because I was running out of time. But I think that means we've done seven. I think that means we've done seven, which means, hey, hey, everyone, this is our two, this is our um, our two month anniversary. So when you are sneaking back into the, into bed with your wife later on, um, and she asks where you've been, you can just say, it was our two month anniversary, and everything will be fine. There will be no problems um, when when you do that. Anyway, so we've done all these big expac. Uh, oh yes, bachelor arms. Those people are telling me that I've forgotten things. Yes, I did. Um, oh, it isn't our two-month anniversary. You're right. We're well, well, we, we are well ahead. We have done the DMV as well. So I'm being reminded by uh, you lovely guys in the chat. Uh, the uh, Theist Rooster has reminded me we did the DMV as well. There it was. So we've got, that's eight. And yes, Jamie's dead right. Thank you, Jamie, for reminding me. We did the Bachelor Arms. And I love uh, my Bachelor Arms design. Sorry, not in, a, not in a vain way, but I just think it's a really cool building. I can't remember where I've put it, though. God, my city's getting too big. 
We put the t we put two together, didn't we? We put the Bachelor Arms and the um, Spinster Towers together. Where on earth are they? Or are they just covered in snow and I can't see them? Hey, there they are. There we are. We put them in there. So yeah, we must be over our two month anniversary now. We must be. We must be on about nine. <laughs> M just says, "Don't know. I don't know. We've done some. There's a few numbers, maybe. Not sure." Um, and it's Erlen's fourth time here. And uh, did we do the quickie mart? I don't think we've done the quickie mart. I don't think we've done the quickie mart. Um, on off says seven is Norse numbers. I think we might be on nine. Either way, you know. Either way, it's probably our two month anniversary ish. There we go. See, now it is like a real relationship because you've got the man in the relationship going, How long have we been together? How long have we been doing this? And, uh,. Uh, yeah. So anyway, today we're looking at residential stuff. I think I've I've played around now enough. Let's get let's get to get some serious business. Now I think this is important, and obviously every week whatever we're designing, I always say it's the most important because I have to sell the show to you. Understand? I can't possibly say this building is pointless. Um, so I have to kind of sell this. But I think this is a good sell on this one because. 90% of The Simpsons show surely comes from The Simpsons house. And if, even if it's not 90%, not quite that high, you know, you have The Simpsons house in every single episode. It's in the opening credits. The opening scenes normally happen there. There's always something happening on the sofa. You know, the Simpsons house, the residential area, is a key part of your Simpsons house, um, of, your, of, your, of your Springfield. And, of course, what is a town, what is a city without its people? And you can't have people without um, houses for them to live in. And um, I don't know... Um, I was telling you guys last week that I've got my original uh, residential area over here, um, which I'm keeping. I'm not getting rid of it. I, I really, really like it. But I, I'm kind of getting the feeling now with my town that I've got kind of like I don't know. I don't know if you've got this, um, but um, I've got like a little itty, itty witty bitty tiny bit of residential in my top corner, and then the rest of the town is like all loads of kind of other rubbish. You know, factories and mansions and things like that but I kind of feel that residential should be a bigger part of my town so what I'm going to do and I mentioned this to you last week is I'm going to have a bit of residential here and then all the other stuff in the middle and then I'm going to have a bit more residential down here using the power of my fingers um, so we, what we're going to be looking at today is possible designs for residential houses uh, what makes them really 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 good so are you ready uh, to M says my town is tiny compared to mine on Athens. It's not how big it is, M. It's what's in it and what you do with it. All right. Hmm? And you know, I'm, I could, I, I've got enough. I could buy some of this stuff if I wanted. I, I just don't want to. Um, but <laughs> why, why, why abuse me, M? Why, why would you do this? Why would you turn on me? First of all, you you start a campaign to say no chocolate, and secondly, you're insulting the size of my Springfield. Stop it. You know what you did. Okay, so we're looking at residential stuff. So let's go and have a look at Addy's Buddies. Are you with me? Are you exciting? Let's go travelling. Step into the TARDIS. It's bigger on the inside. And let us zoom to um, parallel dimensions. Now, first of all, today, we're going to go to one of um, your favourite designers and one of my favourite designers. We're going to go to Mel Designer, who I haven't actually shown for a while, I don't think. Um, and uh, certainly when I did the individual city design videos over on, uh, over on YouTube... Um, um, the Mel was a designer I showed lots and lots and lots, but Mel's gone all a bit kind of experimental and weird recently and seems to have um, uh, seems to have uh, demolished half of her town and replaced it with these massive 3D sculptures. Um, so I haven't used her as much recently, mainly because most of her town seems to be missing. Um, you know, if I, if I kind of bring you down here, like you've got, she's got some awesome stuff. I'll, I'll pause on, on some of this kind of stuff here, but most of it makes my head hurt a little bit. Do you ever find that with the 3D sculptures? You know, you go to someone's house and you, you have to kind of spend a while looking at it so your brain can kind of decode the kind of the isometric thing into kind of what it is. Um, I think we've got some kind of like castle towers thing there but it's all a little bit kind of um it's all a little bit kind of complicated um but i do love this this uh, lake though uh, look at that it's kind of reverse 3d there the lake the lake goes down um which which is awesome um and it works really well, well with that kind of forced perspective because it looks like you can't see more of the lake that's there and you've got some kind of james bond um kind of stuff there but anyway i'm not going to spend too long um i'm just going to showing you some stuff. But anyway, so the reason I haven't used Mel recently is because Mel is basically just going to create these wonderful skyscrapers. Um, <laughs> but Mel does still have um, a fantastic um, residential um, area. So I thought, why not take the opportunity to come back to, um, to, to an old favourite and show you um, Mel's um, houses. Now, what I'm going to do tonight in terms of showing you some of my buddies... Um, 
Uh, what I'm going to do to you, um, Key Mags, yes, there is a live stream. Um, I am streaming right now. In fact, I'll t you, you might not be able to read that, so. I'm Key Mags, I'm streaming now. Um, so I thought I'm, I want, I'm going to show you some unusual stuff um, a little bit later, you know, things that are a bit out of the ordinary, but I'm, I'm going to start off with a couple of um, ones that I think are quite, um, what's the phrase? I mean, I'm struggling for the word ordinary here, but I don't mean ordinary because these are good designs, but perhaps kind of like expected normal design. Normal is probably a good word. Like these are kind of um, these are kind of like normal designs. And um, so here we go. Let's have let's have a little look. This is what kind of Mel um, has put together. Now I think what what Mel has really got, and why Mel is such an amazing designer, and so I think so many people love her city, is that she has just got. Um, this wonderful artistic eye and she, she perhaps doesn't use any decorations that other people don't use and she perhaps doesn't kind of doesn't have any kind of necessarily any kind of brand new ideas and like it's not like she puts in like a football pitch like some people do and things like that but what she does is she just takes the 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 thing the things that we already use and just puts them into these absolutely amazing arrangements that just really like she just got a really artistic eye a really artistic eye um and let's have a look so what we've got here is we've got um, a nice string of houses all quite close together but one of them's got a hedge on the end um to give that lovely variation because i think variation and remember this the whole point of this section is to kind of think of like i get ideas is for our own designs some people when i've been going around um uh city to city kind of go for this kind of uniform um idea you know like every house is almost the same in terms of decorations but in my view the ones that actually come out the best are the ones that look like they're lived in the ones that look like you know so take for example this pink house thing i mean you can kind of see the story here the person on this pink house is a bit of a gardener aren't they and they've decided you know hell to hell with the fences um and they uh they they, they you know they put some hedges around the edge and they put lots of kind of trees in there because they're kind of a gardener but then we come to the simpsons house of course and actually we've got um it's far more lived in we've got some kids there we've got a tree house we've got a pool we've got homer um we've got we've got those kind of things and then we've got kind of um you know so we've got, we've got some so, so like so, so where do the kids live well clearly the kids live in that house there with the tree house and kids lived in this house here with the swings but kids don't live in this one because here we've got some nice kind of flowers i know they're covered in snow right now but we can see that this one has perhaps like an older couple living in it or something like that but do you see where i'm going with this one what mel design what mel does so well is that they use little kind of I don't know mental stories. You can see who lives in the house um, by how it's decorated, um, and all these decorations here are quite. Excuse me, little hiccup. Um, you, all these decorations here are quite ordinary, but they're used in really effective ways. Um, here's a really nice one. Um, this is Wiggum's house, as you as you might tell, um, or, or you might know. But um, not only is it Wiggum's house, but they've put a police car um, in the drive. And I do think driveways are actually a really nice thing to go into houses, not just Wiggum's, but all houses, um, just on, on occasion. But I really like the way what Mel done here is kind of tucked around the edge, um, you know, and done a little kind of fence going around the edge. There's like a little kind of slot where the car goes. I mean, it looks a bit weird because it's kind of next to the garage but just don't think about it too much and it, and it, and it kind of works and gives a really nice kind of um, um, variation there um, and no, note also what Mel does is that we haven't look at look at the houses like they don't double up we do have like a couple of pink houses around and things like that but they're not next to each other so here we've got kind of um, I think that's the purple house and then we've got is that the Van Newtons and then the Simpsons and then Blue House and then um, Middle House's house must be around there somewhere and then there's the um, hmm I've forgotten whose house that is, but you take my point. Like this is this is a this is massive um, kind of um, variation. Um, um, this is kind of um, va variation um, in terms of um, you know what, what goes in into in, into each house. Okay, now let's um, uh, flip back over to uh, my friends list, and we'll go and have a look at another um, in kind of individual uh, one before we move on. And for that, we're going to head over to one of my buddies. Wookiees um, city. I was having a look earlier. I was trying to find some good examples of um, kind of normal style um, houses. Oh, we've got 59 people by the look of um, people are saying 57 in the in the crowd, but um, on my count here we've got 59. So fantastic! Welcome to the fat cell. I do hope you enjoy yourself um, this evening. Now, um, yeah, so we're heading over to um, Wookiees here. And again, what I thought that Wookie did really, really well, assuming that I'm actually in the right place here, is individualized houses. None of what I really liked about this design, these designs here, is that um, each house 
is just completely different in terms of its design. Um, he must have gone, I don't know, he probably, it may not have taken him that long, I don't know, but he basically, he hasn't, what some people do in their designs, they kind of go, they put all the houses down, and then they just start kind of decorating them all at the same time, and so they all kind of have, the, but what we've got here is very, very, very differently looking um, houses. Now, I do agree with Nathan um, that I think the houses will look better without the snow. I think that most of these places will look better when we go back to being green, um, but I, I did figure with this kind of, this kind of um, live show, we can't hang around forever because of the snow so we might as well just kind of um uh we'll just kind of get on with it so welcome to wookie town let's have a look at some of these lovely um individualized um designs shall we um first of all of course we've got mr um Cletus, whose house um, is part of the residential district in this particular case, surrounded by flowers, lots of washing machines, some beer making in the background, and then a lovely little orchard and um, pumpkin patch in the back garden. So his individual design is all based around this idea of kind of agriculture and growing. Um, then we've got kind of just a generic house there with a couple of trees in the back garden. And then next to it, we've got a house turned sideways. Why not? Let's give it a bit of individuality. Let's let's make it look different. Let's take that house, shine it up real nice, turn it sideways, and stick it straight up into your Springfield. Um, we've got a uh, a car there on the front drive as well. Looks really nice. Still a couple of trees at the background, but because the sit the house is turned sideways, it gives it a, uh, a lovely. Um, kind of different design here. Here we've got, I think this is Nelson's house, correct me if I'm wrong, um, and again, look at this, no fence. Now that's such a weird thing, isn't it? I wouldn't actually think of that. I'm, I'm not that creative. I, I automatically start just putting boxes around things because I, I, you know, it's kind of like, oh yeah, must need a wall, need a hedge, need a fence. But one of the ways he's made this house look quite poor is just taking the fence away, and it looks brilliant. He's just kind of put a few trees around, he's put some hazard signs around, we've got a little fire in the background, and it instantly looks individual, and to be blunt, it looks a wreck. But it works fantastically. It looks really, really, really good. Um, and then uh, if we come down here, uh, we've got um, the the spa. Is it the spa? You know, the little pool thing? You can obviously see it. And a little um, a chair in the back there. A um, little bit of pavement. I think another thing that Wookiee's managed to do really well... Is Wookiee here, by the way? Uh, as did Wookiee come in? Do we have a Wookiee here? Um, um, if... One of the things I think that Wookiee has done really well is he's managed to put in pavement without it looking bad. And I don't know if you guys ever find this, but you know when you kind of go from snow to pavement or from grass to pavement, sometimes that divide can look really unnatural. And, uh, to, and I think normal seems to be the word tonight, but abnormal. You know, it just it doesn't doesn't look right. You know, it needs a little border or something like that. But I think by and large, um, what Wookie has managed to do is make those divisions between the pavement and the snow, or pavement and grass, actually look relatively natural. Like they seem to be where you would expect them. And my eye, I'm not looking at those designs and kind of going, "Ooh, no, that doesn't work." It it does work. It's just leading to and from the hot tub. Thank you very much. Um, whoever just reminded me of that on off. Thank you. Um, then of course we've got some nice news of the spectacular built um car there uh, once again a nice house turned sideways here of course is the the flanders house i believe is that flanders house with angels and nativity scenes and everything religious we can find um the simpsons house here's an unusual one um i always do um i always put all of my houses exactly the same size do you, I mean, do you kind of do you guys do the same thing? You know, you kind of go, okay, I'm going to have four houses. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. Here's the third one. But have a look at this Simpsons house. It's it's double width, well, almost kind of double width. And I know it's slightly merged with the, with the, with um, the um, with Flanders one, but it's bigger. And again, that just kind of makes it gives it this kind of nice kind of haphazard. I, I keep kind of wondering if I'm looking at shelf clean the city because it's just kind of uh, kind of a little bit everywhere. But it gives it a really nice bit of individuality that actually all of these lots are not the same size, um, which is great. And <laughs> I wonder who could possibly live here. <laughs> Um, hey, Wookie. I uh, hope you don't mind me showing off your city, Wookie. Hope you enjoy the publicity. But um, clearly, the uh, the the, uh, the the Grumple um, lives here. And if you haven't had a chance to check out my uh, my my Grumple poem video with Clary, um, then where the hell were you? Um, but uh, uh, you need to check that out before before Christmas is is too far gone. Otherwise, it'll just be annoying. Um, then we've got some more individuality around here. You know, we've got um, you know the the um, uh, it's not just the, the use of the different houses, it's how they're decorated as well. So, for example, this futuristic house has got one of those, um, I think that's one of the ghost zappers um, next to it there. The cool brown house um, has got a different colour fence. 
just a little touch, but it makes it look different. Um, and then we've got, I think that's one of the volleyball courts um, kind of tucked in there as well. And look at the, this bit is genius. I wouldn't have thought of this. I'm clearly not very creative. All I, all I have is the ability to press record. But look at this. Um, Chief Wiggum's house has got a barbed wire fence with a big gate. Genius idea. You know, it, you know. of course a policeman would have lots and lots of security in his house. And this uh, this design tells that story. And, and then it kind of goes on and on. And we've got, you know, there's a gazebo there. But we've just really, really got um, individual um, designs here from, from Wookiee. And I think if you are going to do this kind of standard design... I think this is a masterclass um, in, in doing so. I, th I, d I haven't seen this done better. Um, you know, a, 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 a set of designs that just tells stories and makes you think that house is lived in by such and such. That house is lived in by such and such. That house is, you know, do you know what I mean? Um, little trick here. We've talked about this trick before, um, but I do love it. I haven't had a chance to use it in my city yet, but the White House... Um, is so small and cubic that you can actually stick more white, more than one white house together, and it actually just looks like a really big house. And uh, Wookie, Wookie again has used that trick to make an individualistic um, big house there. I think we've got two. I'm going to take a punt at two uh, white houses there. One turned in on the end, um, but it ends up looking like one big long house. Um, but it's very, very effective. Um, I didn't say it for uh, for the other one, but I do think. Um, we need to put some scores um, for Wookie in there. Give him, a, give him a mark out of ten, ladies and gentlemen, because I think, I think that he deserves some praise for um, these quite outstanding um, house designs there. And I'm just going to pause for a minute uh, with the zoomed out view. Perhaps I'll get a little sip of water while you um, whack some scores my way. Hey, Total Tapper, welcome to the Fat Cell. And uh, hey, Zorge. I've run out of water. I'm going to have to get some more in a minute. I've been, I've been chatting too much. For once, I haven't been having Lucozade, and I'm still talking really fast. Okay, we've got seven, we've got ten, we've got ten, we've got ten, we've got eight point eight. No more, no less. Eight point eight out of ten. Ten out of ten, ten out of ten. Theist Rooster talking about a birdhouse. Ten out of ten from Owen. Ten out of ten from Chazza. Uh, I think this is really good. It would, it would definitely be a, a nine or a ten for me. It's a... It's, uh, it, it, it's brilliant, especially, especially my favourite one. I think is the barbed wire fence around the the Wigan one. I think it just that one really kind of sets off as this is a house of individuals for me. Okay, so there's our um our uh what was the word that someone suggested? Let me just scroll up. Someone someone gave me a different word for this. Someone said the word you're looking for is uh I don't know. They're, they're, that's it for our normal or our ordinary designs. Now I'm going to show you some. Uh, some different stuff. Now, I'm not saying that the, these designs I'm going to show you next, I think, are really good designs. Um, I'm not saying necessarily they've been decorated the best or the worst. You know, you can be the judge of that. But what I'm going to show you is now some unique ways of doing a residential zone. You know, something that perhaps you haven't seen before or, uh, or a different approach to it. You looking forward to it? Are you looking forward to it? You better be. I am. I'm looking forward to it. And if you're not looking forward to it, then really, why are you here? But it would appear that my Simpsons tapped out has just crashed. <laughs> so I'm going to have to reboot that. Uh, which means I need to then make up a story while I am rebooting Simpsons Tapped Out. Okay, I'll tell you a story. Me and Clary last night, we went to the theatre, um, but it wasn't. This has got nothing to do with the Simpsons. So if you're not, if if you if you want a moment to shut your brain off, it's probably now. Uh, we went to um, the theatre, but it wasn't a play. It was snooker. Do you have snooker in America or South Africa or France or Johannesburg, wherever you are, wherever you're watching from? And uh, we went to watch snooker, and it was called Snooker Legends, and it had four um, all-time. Oh dear, it just crashed. <laughs> It had four all-time snooker legends um, playing off against each other in a uh, um, in an exhibition match. It was at my local theatre over in Watford, and we have. If, if you're a snooker fan, you'll know these names. It was Steve Davis and Stephen Hendry on one team. Whoa! Saw them live. Very very cool. Um, versus a uh, versus Dennis Taylor and Jimmy White. 
um, on the other team. We saw them all live. It was commentated on by John Verga, um, who was as uh, who's the guy from like Big Break, and he's a commentator on TV. And they had the official referee there as well, um, Michaela, and stuff like that. And it was really fun. It, they 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 were excellent excellent players. Uh, they gave they did some absolutely um, fantastic shots. Of very very impressive stuff. Um, but they they also were most of them were kind of mic'd up as well, and so they were kind of chatting while they did it, and they were kind of goofing around with each other a little bit, and um, a kind of a bit of almost friendly camaraderie as well um, but even though these guys are clearly kind of their careers are winding down some of the shots they were um, pulling off was uh, really really impressive anyway we're back in so let's uh, let's head back over to my little um, my little friends list let's hope that let's hope that won't crash again so um, we're going to look at some designs now that I think are a little bit different um, but still kind of in, kind of interesting in their kind of uniqueness. Now this is um, Shannon TJ. I don't think I have shown um, Shannon TJ before. I, I found her when I was looking for the Krusty Burger last week, but I wasn't actually able to add her in time. Um, she won a competition over on the official EA forums and um, for like the best Krusty Burger. So I added her for that, and today I was having a little look around um, for... Um, um, good housing designs, and I found something a little bit unique here. Um, she's actually got her normal stuff down here. So the Simpsons house and stuff is kind of as you might expect, and as you've seen, kind of in in um, in in most towns. Um, but what we've got over here is something a little bit different, um, which is yeah, here we go. We've got a lovely little walled-off section of residential areas. She's actually going to use the same trick a few times. We've got a walled-off park. We've got a walled-off um, uh, posh house there. I think that's the gangster's house. And I love the wall, the wall design there. Look, wall, great railing, wall railing. So she's used this kind of wall design a few times. But she's actually then got this kind of, like, gated community here. Um, you know, for your very, very upper-class and exclusive um, kind of citizens. And so this red wall goes all the way around out uh, the edge of it. Then we've got this kind of gate at the front, which is done by using the uh, again the kind of steel gate, but turned sideways. Um, little post box as you go in to make it look like an entranceway. Really nicely done. Um, few hazard bars to make it look like oh hang on this is a bit uh, exclusive. A stop sign to say if you're poor get out. And and then we've actually basically inside just got kind of a few houses. But rather than just kind of scattering them around uh, like in a kind of a regimented way, um, it's all kind of a bit random, uh, which works really nicely with pavements kind of leading up up to each one and you can see here you know you kind of you come in here I'd imagine this poor house or uh, the brown house is probably the um what do you call them the, the concierge mm -hmm, yes keyword um uh, from the, you know the get the gatekeeper or the guy that's kind of watching the um uh, the thing has my chat crashed or are you guys not chatting at the moment uh are you guys not chatting or is the chat crashed or am I all alone I'm all alone there's nobody here beside me my chat may have crashed. Who knows? I'll carry on talking anyway, because I can. Um, so this is probably our little guy that kind of you know, guards the community everyone else. And then we turn left and we go down past the lamppost. We go through this nice little kind of pathway of plants. And then we kind of come up to this lovely decorated orange house. We've got some you know trees and stuff around it. Um, again, some nicely kind of done... Um, uh, kind of uh, like uh, trees there on a kind of nice line giving some division there we come back to the middle we've got a set of flowers in the middle we turn right we've got one of those kind of extended white houses again um, with some more trees kind of separating them out some rats some good use of kind of upper class decorations the butterfly house the gazebos little kind of um uh, little patches of flowers, and again, I agree. This is going to look nicer, like like Nathan was saying. This is going to look nicer when the snow isn't here. Um, but you can see the kind of um, you can see the kind of principle of what we got here. And then we've got the um, the, the the computer house there with again, what kind of decoration outside it? We've got some chairs by a by a. Um, uh, a um, what's the phrase a, a, t a tennis court or volleyball court there and I like the way we've actually got a kind of pseudo curve going on there uh, so we've got that kind of curve going around to the the, 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 the left hand side which and curves are actually really hard to do in um, in Simpsons tapped out because everything's so square but we've kind of got one there um, but I think what we've got there and I hope you agree is a really really well done gated off community in um, Simpsons tapped out. Um, I think it would. Uh, I think it was a really nice, 
uh, different design. You know, I haven't seen anything like that before. And when hunting around, I was really pleased to come up with something a little bit different. And I, I actually find that quite quite inspirational. You know, in terms of um, <laughs> I'm inspired, man. Um, but you know, that that's the that's the you know you know sometimes you're just going around someone else's towns and you kind of see something and you think that's a really good idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna be inspired or steal. Um, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna t- I'm gonna take that idea. Um, and I think that I don't know about you, but I think that's one of them, don't you? I think that's a really really nice idea. A gated off community. Um, working really really um nicely so if you'd like to give um some if, if the chat is working if you'd like to give some some ratings for for shannon's idea there i, th- I think it's the idea here more than the decoration well the, the deco- there's nothing wrong with the decoration um, but i think i think this would definitely look better in 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 green than it than it does in white um but it still looks good as it is but if you'd like to give shannon's um some rankings feel free and i shall drop some presents on her from above um, while we do. But I think that's a, a great idea, that one. A really, really good idea. Let's go and visit some friends, shall we? Um, here is... Uh, what, who should we, where should we go? Where should we go? Where should we go? Let's head over to uh, KZ, who's one of our very active um, participants over on tappedout.co.uk, which is where people seem to be attacking me for um, not having chocolate. Makes me very sad. Uh, Waylon giving a ten. Oh, well, nice to see Waylon here. Hey, Waylon, welcome to the Fat Star. I think I don't think you've been here before on the live streams, but I uh, I contacted Waylon. I think it was last week. I think was it about the crusty burger? I can't remember which one it was. But um, Waylon was uh, another uh, very uh, excellent designer who I, who I hope to feature kind of in the future. Okay, um, I don't. I'm not again. I'm with um, with uh, Kay. What I'm not going to have a look at here is her Simpsons house because I think her Simpsons house design is fairly standard. Um, but what I really liked when I was kind of having a little hunt around was this, um, which again is kind of like our kind of closed off community um, idea. But I, I felt this kind of felt a bit more like um, like a Butlins. I, I, don't, I don't know what the uh, the equivalent is in um, in. Uh, um, uh, Amer- in kind of like America or wherever you come from, but but think kind of holiday camp. Um, you know, one of those places where you've got like lots of little cabins, and everyone, um, everyone kind of has like the same little cabin while you're there. While you're there, and you kind of got your own little driveway, and it's kind of on the beach, and you kind of everyone has a good home, and then you kind of head home, and er- everyone has a kind of. Um, you know, a good time, and you kind of head home. And I, I, I don't know what what Kay's inspiration was. Maybe a Kay's in the chat. Maybe Kay can tell us. But when I look at this, I see, I see holiday homes because they're all the same house. So we, you know, it's got that kind of uniform idea. Um, but it's on the beach, so it's clearly going to be an expensive place to live. And again, we've got a lovely little story here. You know, we've got the main kind of road with the the, the prison next door because that's what you want with posh houses. And uh, you know, you, you head in. You've got these little the lamp posts kind of lining your entranceway. A few white houses put together there. Um, some nice kind of little statuettes, and then the, kind of the road goes round. And uh, this this I think is the mark of genius here. I know it sounds like a really small thing, but this road's got a zigzag in it. And I think, I mean, how often do you see that in Simpsons Tapped Out? I mean, have, have a little think. Have a, have a think. I mean, how many times have you seen a road in Simpsons Tapped Out or a design in Simpsons Tapped Out where someone actually has a little zigzag in their design? It's really rare, isn't it? You know, it's, we, we work very much with kind of like the American style, you know, block, block, and another block, and another block, and another block. And we're all kind of very, very square with little bits here and there. But this road's got a zigzag in it, and it's like it reminds me of those little... You know, again, it reminds me of these kind of holiday home things because you often have these kind of weaving paths and uh, weaving paths and roads that kind of, um, you know, that kind of take you through it. And I, so I really like that zigzag. I know, I know there's probably a lot of you that are kind of sitting there probably watching a little stream going, Addy's lost it. He's excited by a zigzag in a road. Why am I watching this stream? I could be in bed with my wife right now and Addy's talking about zigzags and roads. But just, 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 just give it a moment of your mental time. Think it through. I mean, don't, don't you think that there is, um, you know, that little zigzag just makes it feel, again, I often use this word, real makes it feel lived in you know it's not just like someone's little kind of uh, design this is something that some designers put together for a posh little coldy sack or a holiday home i can see k there said it's a a posh residential area um but i think it works really really nicely i like the little touches like we've got the um the gate on the beach or we've got the uh uh, you know the random fountain at the <laughs> random fountain at the edge, the little lampposts that kind of lead you in um, after a slightly um, you know, a drunken night, night out and stuff like that. But um, I think this is a really cool little alternative design, and I think the fact that all of the houses are the same kind of makes this design 
um, as well. Um, so by all means, um, give this some ratings if you like. Thank you very much to um, thank you very much to Kay uh, for for uh, once again always sharing her designs and having such a great city that's kind of inspirational. Um, but I think there's some really cool um, little elements to. Um, that design and I've actually sat down on my seat and so I think I've probably disappeared off the camera here so hello um Addy is Addy's not behind me at the moment little, poor little adipose in fact adipose had a nasty accident he's okay don't panic Addy had a nasty accident um I I took him into the bedroom the other day um nothing, nothing dodgy uh, but I, I took him in there and then I accidentally sat on him and because he's a stress tour he kind of got flattened and Clary Pose thought this was the funniest thing she'd ever seen in her life and started um uh photographing it so i'm sure it'll appear on facebook at some point uh, but uh, uh yeah poor Addy got flattered so we uh, luckily because he's like because he is a stress tour we were able to kind of find a little um hole in him and kind of blow him back up so he, he's currently over there by the piano um in the uh, the 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 adipose's um equivalent of um accident and emergency he's having a bit of time out and uh, recovering from his injuries and waiting for a bit of sellotape on his foot um but i'm sure he will be back very soon where he belongs um behind me on the um on, on, on the uh, on the chair there but uh he's he, he's he's unavailable um for, for today when i it was so bad when i sat on him i know we know he's an inanimate object but you know how <laughs> you know some things are inanimate but when you kind of when they break it's still like oh my god and you know you do feel you have guilt and oh god when i when i accidentally sat on him when i stood up and just saw this completely flat out of pose it was just like it was terrible it was terrible it was terrible Right, anyway, I can see some grades coming through for this design. We've got 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10, 10, 8, 10, actually 9. Beef says, I hate it so much I've got to leave. K, look, you've made Beef leave. Think about what you did there. You know what you did. And uh, Iced Rooster seems to be perving over my wife, which is which is, uh, which is, is strange. And yes, Wookie, there is a piano over there. I, I, I do play. Um, I keep meaning to try and get it into some videos somehow, but I can't quite work out how without kind of going, hi, look at me play. Um, but I will at some point. Kay says it's nice to know that I can access my town easier. Oh yeah, I saw her on tap. You having problems getting in there? Yeah, I'll tell, I'll be your little caretaker. I'll pop in from time to time and just make sure all the uh, make sure all the animals are fed. Okay, let's head over to um, Rugman's town. Um, now Rugman, uh, he has another name on tapped out of Cody K, which I've just promptly forgotten. But they, it always ends in four twenty, which I'm sure is a reference to his phone number. And uh, but I haven't seen him recently. I don't know if he's he's I don't know if he's flown south for the winter or whether he's lost his internet connection. Um, M and others from Tapped Out or Code UK may know better than me. Uh, but Rugman four twenty and I've completely forgotten his name on the um on Tapped Out Code UK. But he, he does have another one. Um, and um, he had a he's got a cool little kind of um beach design as well. He's got some houses down by the beach, and I thought um that'd be quite a cool little idea for us to check out when looking at um alternative. Um, designs. Yes, here we go. Um, and what I really liked about this is he's gone for a very, very different approach with his residential area. Um, he's put almost like one of each each um, uh, house on the. Um, um, He's put like one of each house down by the kind of beach, which obviously makes it look rather nice. But what he's done is he's brought the, if I zoom in here, you can see he's brought in the normal road to here. So you can you drive around the town, do my shopping, visit the power station, maybe stop off at the movie studio and stuff like that. And um, he, um, he uh, oh, it's 4.20 years age. Okay, thank you. Thank you for clearing that up for me. And uh, you come in down here, you get, you get your road and you park your car here. So we've got this big car park but then this car park is actually the car park for all the houses because once you get out of your car you then walk down the path and the path takes you down by the beachfront where you can do your jogging and all that kind of stuff and it takes you down past all the houses and all the houses themselves has to be said are quite uniform you know they're all roughly the same size with roughly the same with a few with roughly the same design um but it gives these houses a completely different feel doesn't it um you know it gives this the really nice idea of this kind of slightly more upper class property uh, oh, I've just set, set off Wiggum's house there. Um, you know, slightly more upper class with a nice kind of place to walk. And it's the same on the other side. You know, you've got these um, uh, little places to park here. And then you down, you can hear, you can walk down past the houses. You've got, I love the little use of the benches and the... Uh, 
uh, the, the the little tree designs there for people to kind of walk past. But I just think it gives. I haven't seen a design like this before. Do you know what I mean? You know, I haven't seen a, a design that that works this way before, um, and houses used in this way. The idea that there's like a um, a, a communal uh, parking area, and then it kind of goes down to kind of the houses using the path, and and putting it next to the beach as well. I just think is, you know, I look at those houses and just kind of go, yeah, I could live there. I'd be happy there. You know, it's it that they look really nice. They look they look really really nice. Um, and I could see some of you guys were already kind of giving um you know some some kind of um, some scores there. Um, Charles is asking, what does tattoo do, or something like that. Tattoo. Uh, I think tattoo might. I think tattoo is saying is that the lagging sucks. I don't think tattoo is saying that the design sucks. Um, I think from what he's saying there. Um, Jamie says he doesn't want to walk. Fair enough. Fair enough. Especially, I suppose, if your house is down the end, you've got a fair bit amount of walking to do. But I just think as a design, it's unique, it's different. It's one of those things that when you're going around from friend to friend to friend, it, make, it makes you stop and go, that's cool. That's different. Um, it still works. And um, it, even there, Jamie's kind of saying, you know, he doesn't want to walk, but it's, it's still an awesome design. And I can see some more scores coming through here, which are saying 10 out of 10. Mitch Queen. Oh, Mitch Queen's here. Hey, Laura, nice to see you. Welcome to the Fat Cell, and congratulations again on, on your win last week. <laughs> Marvel Frog has knocked off a mark for uh, walking as well. Okay, what's the time? Uh, oh, we're, we're, we're running out of time, uh, but I've got so much more to show you. I tell you what, let's go back to my place, and I'll show you what I'm walking on. Walking on? <laughs> See what I did there? Working on. Um, and then I'll, if we've got time a little at the end, I'll show you a couple more of the ones that I kind of came across. Um, I've been trying... Um, to work on an idea with the backs of houses because um, I was always thinking that uh, one of the problems with houses and all buildings in Simpsons Tapped Out is that you can only face down or you can face left I think I've got that right from the angle that you guys are looking at me so they face down and they face left but of course any street in real life you don't have houses down one side of the road. You have houses down both sides of the road, don't you? Whether whether, whether the road kind of is a vertical road or a horizontal road, you know, north, north, south, east, west, whatever it is, you tend to have houses on both sides, unless there's like a beach or a field or something there like that. Um, you tend to have both. So what I have done is I've tried to position some trees. I saw, I saw someone else do this ages ago, and I can't remember who, uh, but it, it works quite well. You get some trees, and you put trees up against the the front of your houses to cover off the wall the doors and the garages so the front of a house can look like the back of a house okay have a look it's I've, I, I started putting this together um, this morning now of course it is one of the, it's a bit like the 3d effect in that we're we're going for an optical illusion here okay we're, we're trying to make something look not quite like um, it actually is and now these designs aren't finished like I haven't put stuff in the back gardens and stuff because that's what I was planning on doing um, with with us this evening um, but have a look here so so, for, so I put the I tried to put them in pairs to kind of keep that kind of optical illusion kind of going so here we go so see there's a white house there and it's facing another white house and what I've done is I've then put a tree over the the the, um, the front door so you can't see that front door so hopefully that back looks like a front so it looks like you've got two houses facing each other and then what I've done is I've put gardens behind them to kind of increase that kind of feeling of this is the back of a house um, rather than the front of a house it works better on some houses than others um, so oops whoops so that I then tried to do the same thing there with the with a pink and actually purple house um, the the purple house it didn't actually work very well on um, the pink it did so I paired them up because it worked quite nicely um, the best trees by the way are these ones here I didn't want to overuse them but you know the tree that's got like the straggly top you know the tree that's got like a little kind of squiggly top um, that's it's because it, that one's kind of like the fattest one at the bottom so you can actually kind of cover up the most door um, so there so I've done the same thing there and you can see it kind of works you know that looks like the front of the house and and some of that window works quite nicely and the blue house works nicely again you just got to place the trees um, quite carefully um, so if I just kind of zoom out a little bit so you can see the effect of them I just I just did it with three pairs um, but I, I'm pretty pleased how that came out. Do you like that idea? I, th I think it works quite nicely. And obviously, I haven't, you know, decorated around the back of them yet. But I think by the time I fill up the gardens, and 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 again, like you guys were saying, I think the snow needs to go before I can probably properly um, finish off these designs. Um, but I think by the time I fill out those gardens at the back, um, I think that optical illusion um, is going to work. 
Um, now, Ice is pointing out that yeah, when the when the um, when the the trees have no leaves, there's going to be an issue. But we, we, and half the trees don't have uh, leaves at the moment, so I, I just had to pick the trees that did. You know, all of the orchard trees are like are like that. You know, they've just got a few kind of few kind of lights on them. For some reason, my camera is now looking at Sideshow Bob. Yes, there he is. Um, but uh, um, yeah, I mean, fair enough. It's not going to work during Halloween, but that still gives me most of the um, that still gives me. Um, um, you know, most of the year when it is, so I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna bother out. But I, I, re I like that idea. I think, I think it's, um, it's gonna work nicely. And yes, Charles is saying, what about the brown house? You know, you, you can just try it. Um, but what I mean, if you guys want to nick this idea, uh, it's, I, it's not my idea. I definitely saw someone else do it first. I just can't remember who, and I, I don't even know if I'm still going to my friend's house. Um, it's not my idea. Um, but you know, grab it, go with it. You know, if any, if any of you try out this idea, why don't you drop me a line on tapped.co.uk? You know, put a picture on my wall, um, and, I, and I'll take a look. So I'd like to see what you guys. Um, can do with this and and I also tried to do if I show you here on the blue house I also tried to put the the house really far forward because I kind of thought that the more I put the um, the blue house forward the more it would look like the front of a house rather than the back of the house um, the fence on my pink house is not in line the fence on my pink oh yeah <laughs> wow okay that is OCD that is really quite special, but I, I'll fix it for you because I know if I don't fix it, you'll be there all evening going, his fence, his fence wasn't right. How did he not see that his fence wasn't right? It was on the wrong line. In fact, actually, now I've said that, because I'm kind of an annoying person, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this fence. No, I'm not going to take that fence. No, not that fence, this fence. I'm going to take this fence. No, not that fence. This fence. No, not that fence. That's a house. This fence, this fence here that you can't even see, and I want to move it one out like that. Barely noticeable, but okay, you can see it, can't you? And you know it's in the wrong place, and it's getting to you, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Just gonna leave it there. Just gonna leave it there. Um, the other thing I was working on, um, and obviously again, this, this is not a um, uh, obviously this is not a uh, a, a finished design. Was uh, in fact I was going to show this from. This is Mitzi's design. In fact, I'll take you over and I'll show you Mitzi's before we finish today, because I think we've got about five minutes left. Um, is Mitzi had this really cool little uh, coldy sack idea? You know, an idea where you kind of uh, you go you go up to the end and and you have a little kind of hoop. And uh, what I was thinking of, because I've got my little residential road there with houses facing each other. And I was going for the. I'll, I'll show you her finished design. But what I'm what I'm going to end up going for here is for something a bit a li little bit more kind of um, eclectic, meaning kind of you know kind of random and kind of quirky, and um, with kind of gardens in slightly different areas. So for example, what I'm going to do here is this orange house here and the blue house that they're they're not facing the road. They're facing kind of the side and then I'm going to put the gardens around the side of them again so I'm just looking for something a bit different you know something that makes something that makes people kind of stop and go hmm that's different and so putting so I've given these kind of houses like a little pathway using the kind of concrete and I think it works quite nicely and then so I'm going to I'm eventually going to give them a garden around the edge here for the blue house and I'm going to give the orange house a little garden kind of here and I'll, I'll use some fencing or hedging or something like that everyone's calling me bad <laughs> What do you mean no chocolate for me? Oh, I still that. Do, you, do I need to put it back? Do I need to put it back? I'm not going to put it back, but I'm glad that it's upsetting so many of you. Um, so those gardens are going to go to the side, and then these houses is going to, the, the garden's going to go backwards. So it's just going to have kind of like a different gardens kind of going in different directions. So this ha this this purple house here is going to have a garden going off to the uh, the right kind of behind here. And I was trying to think what to put kind of at the end of my coldy sack, because I do think it's nice to have a variety of houses. And I experimented by putting um, McBain's house is that, is, that, is that McBain or the actor's name whatever it is I experimented putting that house in there and it, it worked quite nicely um, but I also but I also quite liked the uh, is it the Bad Dream house yeah Bad Dream house um, there with the graveyard I thought that worked quite nicely you know as if the kind of I mean blatantly that house is, is uh, ripped off the Munsters isn't it that's that's got to be um, that's got to be the Munsters um, so you know it's a bit like, it's, 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 it's a bit kind of like oh who needs who who lives next to you? Ah, uh, Mr. Smith. Who lives next to you? Ah, uh, Mr. Jones. Who lives next to you? Ah, uh, Madame Curry. Who lives next to you? Ah, uh, Madame Curry. And like next to me, there is Mr. Bloggs. Ah, uh, Mr. Bloggs. Who lives next to you? The Living Dead. Um, and I just think that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna try and decorate that area a bit spooky. You know, with maybe some of the kind of wrecked trees and you know, maybe a bit of trash. I don't know. You know, broken washing machines and things like that. Um, but that's where um, that's where I'm gonna go um, with that.
um, which I kind of liked. And then in the middle, I'm going to put some flowers or like a, maybe a, a ball or... Yeah, we need a football, don't we? As a decoration, just like a football to put on the grass. You know, just a, a rugby ball or a football just going like plonk. You know, I think that would look great. Um, and before we go, I'll just take this list with a fence and I'll put it back in so all of you OCD people can go... 